I thought I'd um, do a little slideshow of the processor setting up for the internationals. First of all, a lorry's hired to bring the vast amount of equipment, and it's all hands on deck. There's all new signage, there's all new graphics produced. Um, everything's massive. All the all the uh, boards are the, the the practice boards are eight before boards, so everything's heavy and huge. There's loads and loads of new programs that have to be brought up. So you need that lorry and a full team of people just to bring up all the new signage, all the new graphics, all the stage set. There's the stage set just being carted in. That's the stage set after it's been assembled, which is a big job in itself. There we're laying out the signage to make sure everything looks right and fits right. Um, this is where the, the, the stage set is being put together and the sterling board's going on the top. It's very important that the stage set is all nice and level and flat and secure and solid because the players don't want to be playing on something that's bouncing around and rocking and moving. So it takes time to put that together. It takes time to clamp it all together and make sure that it's fitted right and, ni and providing a nice solid base for the players. Um, then we put a curtain around the side. Again, this is put on fresh every time, a new curtain every time, cut to suit, and the stairs leading up to the actual stage set. Then along come the carpet fitters. Because we want a new carpet put in on the stage set, at the same time, the 24-7 TV crew are laying out all their gantry, bringing in all their equipment, so we've got two jobs going on at the same time. Um, this is the ideal time while those two jobs are going on and taking up the space at one end of the room to start assembling the practice boards at the other end of the room. So that involves all the team going down to the other end of the room, manhandling the big old 8x4 sheets, putting the practice boards all together. They all have to be bolted nice and securely. We've got to make sure everything's nice and safe. Um, on these slides here you can see the lighting gantry being put together, here you can see the practice boards being put together and assembled and the sides being put on there. And again it's all, again, it's all, all hands on deck moving all these things around. Three practice boards there, lighting gantry nearly ready for erection there. And you can see the sheer amount of equipment that 24-7 have to bring with them. Uh, for this stage setup, we thought we'd have a black walkway up to the uh, up to the actual board itself. There's the four practice boards up and ready to go. This was a momentous moment when the gantry actually started looking like a gantry. Big old job. <coughs> And there it is, one like it, lighting the entry assembled and erected. Okay, so new boards going, uh, having the backing plates put on so that they can be put up on their practice boards for the uh, England, Scotland and Welsh teams to play on and practice on before the matches. Uh, again, more of the 24-7 TV crews stuff being shipped in. Here we've got a couple of very, very good carpet fitters actually cutting out the uh, the walkway for the for the black carpet to go in the in the middle. Uh, that's one of the TV screens being put together, ready for uh, being mounted at the side of the stage. There's yet more cabling and wiring coming in, and the signage being laid out on the side of the boards. That's the actual dartboard signage that once it's been attached. Again just making sure everything's nice and straight and level. The carpet fitters finishing off the stage. And there we get in more or less to the finished version and the TV screen to the side. Um, getting ready to put on the, the big signs to each, to each side of the dartboard. Um, that's the sign that goes over the top of the actual stage set. And there's uh, the carpet getting the first of many sweeping sessions. The stairs being covered, the cameras being set up, all day job. There's so much work to do. 
This is the 24-7 technicians uh, making up a little um, production suite. Tommy nearly having his hair cut. <laughs> um, one of the TV screens set up to the side of the stage. More cameras being set up. Um, the amount of technology and cameras being set up is, is mind-boggling, to be fair. Uh, wires everywhere have to be covered up and made safe. And this is the first part of the actual dartboard set going up. Uh, there you can see it's all nice and level and straight and square to the middle. That's the TV screen part. That's me at the back screwing it all together. Um, so it's beginning to come together. It's beginning to look like that international stage set. There's the second part. So you've got all three parts of the signage up there. And uh, being made safe, being made nice and secure. Uh, screwed down, weighed down and then the top board goes on. So that's the finished result. Yet more cleaning of the carpet. Still not finished, still quite a way to go. Um, dartboard mounted, checked for height. Um, we've got two dartboard surrounds. Again, we've got to make sure they look right, that they you know, fit right, all that kind of stuff. We've got the Grove C Casino one and we've got the uh, England Darts one that you've seen well, a lot of my videos, to be fair. Um, so that's the more or less finished backdrop of the stage set. And there's the Oki. Now, the Oki has been screwed down so that, you know, it's not going to be moving around, kicked around, and what have you. And that's all the work involved in just getting the stage set and the practice board set up. There's still tables, chairs, etc. On top of all that, we still need merchandise installs to go on and make sure that um, everything's catered for all the various teams. And that's just day one. There's still tomorrow, t tomorrow to go. It's a big job.